I appreciate you being here with me today. I am Apostle Chally. I am going to make this video. It's inspired by the Holy Spirit. What I'm going to talk to you about is real, and I've seen it take place. It's not speculation. It's not guess. It's not something that I fabricated in my mind. It's not about hate. And some of you are going to get mad when you listen to this video. And if you get mad, it's because the demons in you are getting mad or getting scared. The first thing that demons don't want is to get cast out. And they want to continue to possess someone's body, to live in someone's body. You know, demons are a spirit that has no physical body. They have a spiritual body, but no physical body. They have nowhere to live. Without that, they just kind of wander around and... They're, they're homeless, basically. There's a lot of scriptures in the Bible about that. Your demons getting cast out and returning to the place where they came from. It's in the book of Acts. Um, I think it's chapter 19. So what I want you to um, recognize is the LGBT community, I think I said that right, is, it is a mental... Um, state of confusion. The Bible says that God did not give us the spirit of confusion. You know, God did not give us these um, types of things. Now, what happens is to, um, let me adjust this camera a little bit, to uh, think about what I'm saying, you know, is, is one thing. You know, there, there are people that want to take little girls, you know, as they're becoming teens and remove their boobs and call them boys or whatever. I don't know. Or remove boys' penises or whatever's going on out there. But there, there's a consideration here that people don't realize. Not only is it a mental illness, what is the root? People can say, well, I was abused or... You know, I was raped or all these things, okay? But getting raped doesn't make you want to change your sex or be coming abused or even influence. You know, you got an aunt or an uncle or a mother or father that's homosexual or gay or lesbian or whatever or transgender or whatever. It doesn't necessarily make you change your point of view and want to become another sex. What happens is there's a spirit behind these things. This spirit can be cast out, these spirits. Every spirit is a, every uh, wicked spirit is attached to a legion of spirits. They can be cast out, and then what happens is that person gets the deliverance from that, and that person is free of that. You know, many people that are in the LGBT community, or whatever, um, want to be free, but they can't, and they, you know, they it's probably. Uh, it's for sure something that they cannot control. You know, the last uh, real good example I could use, I was on Facebook with a lady um, talking to her on video chat. She was overseas. And her friend was a lesbian, and her friend had been a lesbian for 40 years. And her friend had a, a female uh, a girlfriend, but she called her girlfriend her boyfriend. So the lady I was on the phone with said, look, that's not really her boy, her girlfriend or boyfriend. It's her girlfriend. But she calls her her boyfriend. So you got to picture that. She's saying, my boyfriend, this, my boyfriend, that. That was her friend, the one I was talking to. So I said, let me talk to her for a minute. So I started praying for her. I prayed for her in a spirit language, which is, is tongues. It's a language that some people that have the Holy Spirit can achieve. And I prayed for her in the spirit language. I commanded all the gay demons to come out and enter in no more. And I destroyed all the gay curses and uh, homosexual, lesbian curses and demons. And I uh, spoke to God to uh, manifest in the woman. The woman in three days was not only healed, she actually got rid of her f female uh, relationship and, and partner. And she actually had a male boyfriend. And she hadn't had one, I guess, in 40 years. So immediately healing took place and she was put on track. 
You know, that's deliverance from these things. There is deliverance available. If you go down into the description, you can contact me. My number is there. I will. It's better to call me on uh, WhatsApp. If you load WhatsApp, it's in the Play Store. Most phones have WhatsApp. All you got to do is load it, tap on it, log in. Um, call me on WhatsApp. I want to see you face to face. Now I know know what the spirits are doing. I know what's going on. I can look, look at people and tell by their expressions and things. Demons are going to get mad, and they don't like it, and they're going to be angry, and they're going to be upset. Anybody that's talking about God, anybody's talking about getting these spirits removed, and you might feel hurt, you might feel pain, you might feel all kinds of anxiety when you hear this video. But if you need to, call me. Um, I will pray over you for free, and I will... Uh, demand deliverance in the name of Jesus and demand the demons to leave in the name of Jesus. God is more than willing to do it. God loves us. So keep that in mind. Um, God loves you, me, everybody. So um, what happens is the demons will want to fight this dramatically. And if you know someone that's involved in this or needs deliverance from this, urge them to take my number and call me set up a time we'll set up a time we'll get together on phone on the phone and uh, do this deliverance i appreciate you being here um, understand what i'm saying is real and uh it can be a generational curse people say well i was born like that well i agree i agree it's a spirit it's a, it can be a generational curse you know spirits are looking for reasons to jump into people to do things it could be from hurt it could be from a beating or anxiety or some kind of turmoil in your life could be from influence, could be from witchcraft. You know, there's a lot of ways that these things enter in and change lives and enter into the family and the, and the parents even. So everybody involved needs deliverance. And I, it, it is a mental disorder. But that mental disorder is caused by spirit. Doesn't mean you're defective. There's an intervention there, uh, 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 um, a spirit that intervened, let's say. That maybe that's a better way to say it. A, a spirit that came in that d caused something doesn't mean you're deformed or defective but working with that handicap it is you are being deformed and defective it's the way that uh satan can cheat us out of our good life so you know contact me if you need uh this deliverance and this help right now god i ask you to touch this person this individual god right now we de we destroy all uh homosexual lesbian transgender curses and devils and we close all portals all generational curses all witchcraft everything to do with this god right now we destroy this in the name of jesus god i just ask you right now god to manifest in this person destroy this evil cast it out destroy it, so it would so it would not come back god and i command it done and satan i command you into the eternal lake of fire revelation 20 and god ask you to manifest in this person and these people that are watching this video and hearing this and that these people would share this and other people would get deliverance even through this video that you would manifest in their lives right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. So I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe. May God bless you in this.